Welcome to the reading of Turning 25 on my 52nd birthday. This is a story of my life right after my divorce as I grew into a new woman. Please comment any questions on the video below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And thank you so much. Please like and subscribe also. Thanks. Nine and ten. <laughs> it was the following day and Veronica showed up at the office a little early. She had quite a bit of work to do. Mondays were hard enough as it was. She liked to get in early and get back into the groove of work. She did not take break or she did not break for lunch until 1230. Veronica went to lunch alone as was the case when she was in Denver. There were not many people, employees in the office and Renee didn't like to leave for lunch too often. She received a text from Rick asking if she could come up and meet him at the bar and watch some football, maybe shoot some pool or something. She thought she, she thought it was a great idea. She was so excited that she was going to see him. She didn't expect anything more than just a few drinks and dinner. She wanted to have sex, but she also couldn't expect it. She didn't know if he could bring her to his house or what the situation was with him and his home and kids. Veronica finished up work early. She wanted to go home and put on some jeans and a different t-shirt you know, put on a t-shirt instead of wearing her business attire. She then drove up to Fort Collins and found the bar and entered. Rick was already there waiting for her, but what she didn't expect, there was a couple guys from that were there from his work. He introduced her as a friend, which was fine. However, there was no touching or any showing of affection when they were in public. So um, she ordered her favorite drink, a vodka gimlet, um, with Belvedere Vodka. <laughs> she actually ordered the double. She needed to take the edge off. Um, she was still a little anxious when it came to Rick. They were shooting pool. None of them none of them were super good, but they all had, could at least play. They played for probably three hours laughing and talking and having a genuinely good time. Verna couldn't remember the last time she had so much fun. Being out with a group of friends, laughing, playing games was just was just a lot of fun. It was getting late and Bill had to head home, so Devin and Rick and Veronica stayed and, and just talked. Devin and Rick ended up talking about work and how to handle <clears throat> some personnel issues. They were both very candid and it was very intriguing to watch. Devin got up to go to the restroom and, and that left Rick and her at the table. He said, did you get my text? And Veronica said, I haven't looked at my phone. So she picked up her phone and read the text and it said, do you want to come to my place tonight? She got a huge smile and said yes. Rick ordered um, the two of them another round. Devin already stopped drinking. Devin left. Devin left and Rick and Veronica finished their drinks, laughing and more talking. The bar was only two blocks from his place, so they walked over there, which was good since they both had way too much to drink. They got to the house and neither wasted any time. They both began undressing as they walked in immediately began grabbing each other's bodies. She had to leave she had to have him in her mouth. There was never, there had never been a man that she enjoyed sucking as much as him. Size, taste, who exactly knew, but it was wonderful. He couldn't, he could get her to do anything she wanted, anything he wanted. Veronica almost felt like she had to, or she would never have another sexual partner again. She felt almost like his slave. The sex started perfect. He felt like, he felt like such a perfect fit. She didn't remember sex feeling so good. God, she was really suppressed sexually. If she only knew at this point how much better it could be than this, she would have been even more anxious. <laughs> this time was a little different. He wanted to have her in her ass. This was probably one of the things she never really enjoyed. She wanted to say no, but it was too late. He was in. <laughs> they finished and Veronica immediately got dressed and sat on the couch in her room. And in his room. He he washed up and asked her if she was okay. She didn't answer him. She did not like the fact that she allowed him to do that to her, something that she really didn't enjoy. How could he have so much control over her? She lay down on the couch and he lay down on his bed. She was disappointed in herself. While she didn't dislike what happened, she was more concerned about her lack of confidence and being able to stand up for herself. She went on the patio for some quiet time. She just needed to reflect what the hell was really happening. She finally fell asleep on the couch. She woke up a few hours later and she knew she needed to get home so she could shower and get back to work. The, follow the following day at work was very hard. 
you know, she was not feeling good about herself. How could he make her make her feel so good and then the next day her confidence all be gone again? Why was she allowing this man to take over her being? He texted her at lunch to make sure she was okay. She told him why she was in a funk. She said, what happened last night was something that crossed a line for me. Um, he responded, you should have let me know. And he, I don't, I didn't mean to cross any lines. And he, then he said, I love the idea that I've had you in every hole. <laughs> she couldn't help herself and respond, me too. What was she allowing to happen? She felt the need to escape him, but she wanted to have sex. How was she going to have sex? How could she find someone different? The next few days was just about work. Veronica fo focused on work during the day and how to escape from Rick's sexual hold at night. She joined a cougar website. She really liked the idea of having a younger man. She didn't like the idea of an older man at all. She wasn't quite sure how to handle this website. She was getting a couple of winks and messages, but nothing really got her attention. She would just keep kind of keep an eye out on it. She knew the site was all about sex. It was Friday night and Veronica decided to go shopping. <clears throat> Lately she was going home in the evenings and drinking too much. She was dancing also, but the drinking was getting to be a little much. She just needed to get out of get out and be around people. On her way home she received a text from Rick. He asked what she was doing and she told him. He then asked if she could take him and his friend to a concert that happened to be about 45 minutes from his house. He was at his friend's house, or 45 minutes from his friend's house. He was at his friend's house in Denver, so she didn't have to drive to Fort Collins. She figured it'd be okay. She was sober, so why not? As soon as she picked him up, she immediately was upset with herself. What the hell was she doing? If they were too drunk to drive, they could have called a cab. You know, she was feeling that she just kept getting deeper and deeper into his clutches. But what was even worse, she thought, was that she was, what was she really getting out of this? Just sex? And while the sex was fun, it was not great. It was great. <laughs> could, could she break this? Was she allowing herself to get back into her bad habits? Allowing a man to dictate to her? While Rick was complimenting and made her feel good about the way she looked and the way she was in bed, she was also allowing him to take advantage of her in other ways. She wanted to have sex and the fun, but she felt like it was it was not mutual. She couldn't say no to him after she couldn't say no to him about the other favors. She wanted to make sure she continued to be allowed to have sex with him. She would do anything he asked of her. Veronica was genuinely a nice person. She would help her friends anytime they needed it. But she felt like he was taking advantage. He he was. He knew what he was doing. He had Veronica figured out. As long as he would have sex with her, he knew she would do whatever he wanted. <clears throat> she was really going to need to find someone to take her mind off of him. Maybe this online thing, the cougar site, would pan out. A part of her was feeling so confident, but there was another part of her that felt like she couldn't say no to him. She felt if she did, she wouldn't have sex again, and not just with Rick, she truly felt she may not have sex again. She still wasn't confident with the idea of a man wanting anything to do with her. She was so happy about being divorced, but now there's, she got the taste of sex again. She was beginning to feel desperate for it. How does this happen to a strong, intelligent woman? It just shows how much people can influence how you feel about yourself. That's exactly what Jerry did to Veronica. Um, this was a perfect example, and it, was, it started to open my eyes, but it, my eyes did not stay open. <laughs> um, I truly did believe that... Um, I was afraid that if he didn't, if I wasn't going to have him, that I wouldn't have anyone. Um, that was the hardest part about during this whole time. I was still developing my confidence and, and who I was as a woman. While there was certain things that he had already started breaking the mold or breaking the armor for me, there was also things that were kind of making it worse. Looking back, at the time I didn't think that way. Um... So definitely, he had a hold on me, for sure. I would do anything he asked, for sure. I would drop anything I was doing to respond to a text to him, to um, go pick him up if he needed, if he called, whatever, it didn't matter. And that this is where it kind of started. Honestly, I don't think, I think he knew what he was doing to a certain degree, but I don't think he was doing it completely manipulative. Um, he just knew that if he needed a ride and he happened to be drunk, then he could call me and I would give him one if I could. So, 
Um, yes and no, I'm not giving him any excuses, and there was times, as we go on, you'll see, but definitely I was not feeling good enough about myself yet. Um, I still did not believe men would, other men would want me. <laughs> so that's, well, that's chapter 9 and 10. Thank you.